so today we will learn about addition and subtraction of fractions before that you must know that for doing the addition and subtraction there is a one condition the condition is the fractions should be like fractions okay the fractions should be like fractions the addition and subtraction is only possible when the fractions are like fractions that is they have the same denominator let's see if we have like fractions then how to do the addition and subtraction for example you have two fractions 4 by 5 plus 6 by 5 now these are the two like fractions because the denominator is same now, how to proceed very simple simply see the numerator okay and perform the operation so here the numerators are 4 and 6 so we will just add 4 and 6 that will be 10 and the denominator will be the same that is 5 so yes our answer is 10 by 5 similarly if we have to do the subtraction for example 8 by 9 minus 7 by 9 now these are again the like fractions so again we will simply see the numerator and perform the operation so it will be 8 minus 7 is equals to 1 so 1 upon 9 easy very easy now let's see if the fractions are unlike fractions then what we have to do so the step one is convert the unlike fractions into like fractions okay the first step is you have to convert the unlike fractions into like fractions and when they are like fractions step two is perform the operation in the same way we have just did so now we will see the steps to convert unlike fractions into like fractions the first step is find the LCM of all the denominators okay let's take an example for example the fractions are 4 by 8 and 6 by 10 okay so what we have to do first we have to find the LCM of both the denominators so students pause the video and find out the LCM of denominators so the LCM of 8 and 10 is equals to 40 okay the first step is done we have found out the LCM of the denominators let's see the second step the second step is to find the equivalent fractions with same denominator by multiplication so now what we have to do we have to find the equivalent fractions of these two fractions with the denominator same denominator that is denominator will be 40 so what we will do for that we have studied this in our previous video also we will perform the multiplication of the numerator and denominator with the same numbers so here in this case of 4 by 8 you can see to get to make 8 40 we have to multiply it with 5 so in this case we will multiply both the numerators and denominators with 5 so 4 by 8 will be multiplied by 5 on both the sides and the result will be 20 upon 40 okay now comes the 6 by 10 as you can see the base is 10 the denominator is 10 to make 10 40 we have to multiply it by 4 so in this case we have to multiply both the numerators and denominators with 4 so 6 by 10 will be multiplied by 4 on both the sides that is numerator and denominator so 6 into 4 is your 24 and 10 into 4 now if you can see both the fractions are like fractions that means both have the same denominator okay so now we have the same denominator so we can perform our operation very easily whether it is addition or subtraction let's try to solve another example of for addition and then for the subtraction for example the first sum is the first fraction is same numbers that we have taken before that is 4 by 8 and 6 by 10 so 4 by 8 plus 6 by 10 okay the equivalent fractions were 20 by 40 and 24 by 40 20 by 40 plus 24 by 40 
okay so now we will add the numerators and the denominator will remain the same so 20 plus 24 is equals to 44 upon 40 so yes this is our final answer now suppose we have to do the subtraction between these two fractions only for example 6 by 10 minus 4 by 8 okay so 6 by 10 is equals to 24 upon 40 and 4 by 8 is equals to 20 upon 40 so we will do the operation between numerators 24 minus 20 is 4 and the denominator will remain the same 40 so in this way we can solve we can perform addition and subtraction between unlike fractions now suppose the fractions are given as mixed fraction so what will be the process then for example the fractions are 2 1 by 2 plus 3 2 by 5 now you have to add these two mixed fractions so what will will be the first step first step will be you have to convert these mixed fractions into improper fractions okay so we know the step 2 will be multiplied by 2 2 will be multiplied by 2 and that is n then 1 will be added to that so 2 plus 2 into 2 is 4 plus 1 5 by 2 and the next will be 5 into 3 is 15 plus 2 17 by 5 now we got two improper fractions okay now we can uh, or improper unlike fractions now we got two improper unlike fractions now we can proceed in the same way we have learned just now okay i hope this is clear to you all now in the last i would like to share with you all one very important tip regarding the operations of fractions listen see students whenever you are doing any operation in fractions you have to be you have to remember that the final answer should be written in its simplest form okay the final answer should be in its simplest form so whatever the answer you got you please if asked in the question or not then also you have to convert it into the into its simplest form okay so you know how to convert it in the simplest form we have already learned that so i hope you all can do that thank you